Hi guys, we're back with another Trace DS web series training tutorial video. And last week's training was on how to build a form, a team application specifically in JotForm. And this week what we're going to cover is what we're going to do with those submissions once someone has submitted a form. So right now I've already logged into our portal and I'm going to assume that you guys have been very busy building out team applications and candidate applications and prayer wheels and anything else you can think of. So what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to show you all of the integrations that we have on the back end when we um, receive a candidate form submission. So in our community, we have a women's and a men's candidate form. We don't just have one big candidate form. And the reason behind that is because we don't want our women's candidate and men's candidate forms sent to both of the men and women's leaders. We want the men's candidate form sent to the men's leader and the women's candidate form sent to the women's leader. And let's get started. So I'm going to just click on our women's candidate form. And if I just click on it twice, I get these options that say edit form, inbox, and more. And I'm going to click edit form. And here's our form, it pops up, pretty basic information. And I'm gonna go over to settings, up here at the top. All right, so right now I have a, a few things set up here. So one of the first things is that I'm gonna look at our emails. So I'm gonna click on our emails on the left side. And we have a lot of emails going out. So um, three notifications are going out. So this is our women's leader, this is me, this is um, our pre-weekend team. And then we have a couple others. So um, we have the candidate confirmation email. We have a sponsor confirmation email. And then we have a candidate waitlist email. I'm not going to go into all of the different emails in this tutorial. We're just going to go over integrations. But I do want to point out that you can really customize and really make your emails look beautiful. So we've already seen what an automation email looks like from our last video. But we create really pretty custom design emails that include a packing list, what time to arrive, what time to leave, and all of that's on here. And then we also, the sponsor, when they fill out the form, they get a notification too that includes that candidate's emergency contact information so they can start collecting some of the surprises that the candidate can have on their weekend. And if the candidate indicates any kind of um, preferences, maybe soda or candy or things that they like, that sponsor can start gathering those things now too. So everyone is in the know when a candidate submits a form. So for right now, the way that we have our form set up and maybe this is something that you encounter a lot. Every time a new candidate comes through, someone is always asking, how many candidates do we have? Who is signed up? And, and looking for that name and those informations to start preparing for the weekend. So I'm sure what you're doing right now is you're running through the different people on your board, trying to figure out who signed up, how many candidates you have, so you know how many supplies to bring on the weekend. And we've just taken care of all of that so we don't have to worry about it. So. If I go over to the left hand side here, I can click integrations. And JotForm has a lot of free integrations that really work to our benefit. So we use Dropbox, Google Spreadsheets, and MailChimp. And your community may use Constant Contact. And we use MailChimp and we'll cover that in a different series. I'd love to hear what you use, why you use Constant Contact, why you use MailChimp. But our community loves MailChimp because we have the flexibility of building very pretty emails. I've noticed that Constant Contact, if you don't know code, you don't know how you can't create beautiful emails, where MailChimp has this beautiful drag and drop editor. So when a candidate submits a form, they're automatically added to our email database. And when they submit a form, they are automatically added to our Google spreadsheet. And I've already gone in and set myself up on Google Spreadsheets. This is a free software. If you have a Gmail account, you have Google Spreadsheets, you have Google Drive. And what that does is anytime a candidate signs up, it automatically adds them to a candidate Excel spreadsheet. And then I've gone in and I've given access to that Google Spreadsheet to the most recent team leadership team. So the rector, headshaw, assistant headshaw, whatever you guys call them. For us, it's our head, assistant head, and rector. And then I've given access to the pre-weekend team so that they can make sure that 
what the assistant head Shaw is planning for name badges and for dorm signs is also what the pre-weekend team has down as a confirmed candidate. And then I just like to back it up in my Dropbox. So just in case something happens and somebody messes with that Google spreadsheet, somebody deletes something, it's stored on my Dropbox too as just a backup safety net. Then what you can also do, we haven't built it out onto our side, but it's also an option for you, is you can sync up with your PayPal or PayPal Pro so that you can actually begin accepting online payments as well. So you don't have to be worried about checks anymore. There is a fee. So it's something to think about moving forward, adding in that fee. But if you set that up, that's an automatic payment portal for people to be able to pay through. And um, the way that the society is just moving, online fees are a way of the future. That's what's happening right now. So really, carrying around a checkbook is not as prevalent anymore as carrying around a credit card is. And we don't even know it, but when we swipe that credit card, we're paying a fee. So um, that is something that your team members will be used to paying. It shouldn't be something that turns it off. And the benefit of not having to write up a check and mail it in and just paying out line just far outweighs that 3% fee that PayPal charges. So I'm going to click on my Google spreadsheet. Get all this, it's a web-based application that allows users to create and update and modify and share that data online. So then I'm gonna just create Authenticate right here. And again, you're gonna need access to some kind of a Gmail account. So maybe your community has a Gmail account. I use my personal Gmail account. It's really no harm, no foul, but that's just preference of you. So I'm gonna click Authenticate and it opens up this little tab and it says choose account. So yes, I wanna choose my personal Gmail and I just click on that and all of this is fine. It just wants to view and manage the files in your drive and manage spreadsheets. So I click allow, it goes away, and then I can put a folder here. So it creates an automatic folder for me right now. It says jot form, and then it has this team application. Maybe what I wanna do instead is, um, maybe the folder name should be online forms. And then I can change this to say, um, KCTD number 13 women's candidate applications. So now the, the folder will say online forms, KCTD number 13 women candidate app, and I'm gonna click complete integration. And that just takes a little bit processing that data. All right, so integration is ready. So I'm gonna click finish and I've already forgotten, okay, so how do I access that link? That's no problem. We're gonna go back into Google Spreadsheets, click on this, and I can just click on this link right here. It opens up in a new tab and there's all my information. So it has all of my headers, date of application, submission date, um, first name, last name, all of those options here. And then if I go up to the top of my page here, I can click share. And this is where I'm gonna indicate who else is gonna be able to see this Google spreadsheet as it's being updated. So right now it's only, it says private to only me. I'm gonna click share. And I'm going to, I can either A, get a shareable link and I can copy this and I can send it out in an email. Anybody can view. I don't really like the anyone can edit option because uh, you just, you run risk of somebody messing something up and we just want to take out that. Now I can say anyone can comment and maybe leave a comment that says, hey, this person's cell phone number has changed. Hey, this person has moved. We need to update this in our system. And that's okay. But I never want to give access for just anyone and everyone to be able to edit the form. That's um, a big no-go for me. So I'm gonna leave this as anyone can view. And then I'm gonna just start typing people's names in. So um, this is, uh, you know, my assistant head shaw right now is Rita Latimer. I'm gonna give her access and Christy Everhart is my other assistant head. So I'm gonna give them access because I want them to be able to see the most recent up-to-date women's um, candidate app. And I can add in a note here And then I can click send. I'm not going to do that because they don't really need to see this one. They want to see our actual form. But for right now, that's what that we could do. Um, and then I can always, you know, let's say that something happens and somebody else says, I, I really need to be able to see all of the candidates. So maybe that's our head palanca. So that's no problem. I can go back in here 
and I can add her as well. That is really um, a nice, easy way. And of course, what's the best thing about Excel? We can export out that list and it's a document and we can use that to um, integrate and do a mail merge for our name badges, for our dorm tags. And it's just a nice, easy, slick way without having to rely on paper forms or someone typing up all that information manually. It's all live and right in this Word doc. So or right in this Excel spreadsheet. So this is just a great tool that JotForm offers. Stay tuned for our next video. This one was a little bit shorter, but I wanted to keep it short and sweet. And we can focus on some other integrations and how to build custom emails in JotForm too. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment in the section below what you'd like to see next and let us know how we can improve for next time.